astounding performance by the Brazilian. It's a demonstration, too, of the fact that the horsepower disadvantage that he has. Look at the gap. Yes, and the point is that uh, Senna, Senna is really showing his genius because the Williams is just as much uh, a better car than all the others in the wet as it is in the dry. And the lead that Senna has built up is pure Senna. He is yes, now here he is. The master of qualifying supreme of all time, really, in Grand Prix racing. At and Senna now, boosting it. Oh, both for Williams, first and second. Now, this will be an interesting thing to watch, to see if Senna's uh, extra special genius is able to do anything about the overtaking here. As we know that Senna is probably the number one overtaker in the business as Mansell climbing all over the back of... Yes, and this is a very interesting race now between two truly great drivers. Here we have Ayrton and Senna, possibly, probably, the greatest racing driver of all time, being pursued by the young man who aspires to everything that Senna has achieved and who is just as exciting as Senna was at this stage of his career. A truly great talent Schumacher is too, and they're in pretty evenly matched machinery. Schumacher definitely has a power advantage. The Benetton's running well, but uh, Senna has an enormous experience advantage. And he's certainly still the quickest man in the business. And Patrese must be very disappointed. He got onto the slippery stuff going in. Senna and uh, Senna now with his experience and he races so hard, he really is uh, the master of them all. That this is will encourage Ayrton Senna to stay for the season, and that's what we need. We don't mind what he gets paid and what his negotiations are. We want to see the best driver in Grand Prix racing, the best driver in the world by a long way. We want to see him racing in Grand Prix racing, even if it is an inferior car.